I noticed in the, in the, the modern history, uh, I was getting 95, 98, 93 for all my essays. And then putting in the same amount of work in the physics one, uh, and I know science seems to be much more rigorous and, and uh, the marking is much more rigorous too. Uh, I was only getting 73s and 75s and 78s and I was quite disappointed at that disparity between the marking standards or what appeared to me to be the marking standards. Um, that's it. Thanks. Um, uh, so uh, for a final assessment in uh, one of my first year subjects I had to write a 2,000 word essay. After one of the tutorials, I'd actually approached my tutor to ask about sort of what to put in the essay and, and whether or not the way I was approaching it was sort of the way to go, uh, because they had said if you you know if you have any questions about it or if you want to know if you're going in the right direction, let me know. Um, so I, I took him up on that offer, and um, the tutor had answered a question, but not the question that I wanted answered. He'd answered something completely different. Um, so I tried rephrasing the question, seeing if he would answer it, if it was phrased that way. And again, I still got the answer that I didn't want. Um, so I ended up going home, doing what I thought was right, um, which actually worked because I ended up quite getting quite a high mark for it. So it turned out well in the end. I think um, focusing more on the final exams, one of my favourite final exams was um, for my Italian, no, wait, for my Italian, for my Italian unit, um, which yeah, the lecturer gives us before the exam. He gives us the ten questions that we're going to be asked in the exam, but a basic overview of what those ten questions will be. So on the grammar point, it might be on, or this question nine will be a reading task, and question ten will be. A writing tasks or something like that. Whereas um, one of the worst exam experiences I've ever had um, was yeah with um, an exam that just wasn't edited properly, and there were a lot of mistakes in there that were seemed like some of the simple mistakes were found within the first five minutes. So there were maybe four or five mistakes found in the first five minutes. And then later on in the exam, I found that a lot of my calculations, which I'm pretty sure were right, um, yeah, I hope that doesn't sound stuck up, but I really am sure that they were right, just did not make sense with um, the like the answers that, that were given to us, being a multiple choice exam. So yeah, I find it's really important to just proofread and make sure that if there's a final exam, especially if it was worth. 50%, 60%, just to make sure that every single thing is right. And yeah. also the, the little spelling mistakes.